Hello, my name is Frank Hayafa. Welcome to the Waldorf Astoria and this edition of New York's Hotel Box. We are happy to feature a classic and overlooked cocktail called the Coronation. Uh, there are many early versions at the turn of the last century. Uh, today we're going to feature ours from the old bar where the uh, Empire State Building is today. It was the original location of the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Uh, the first one in print comes from Jock Straub's Drinks in 1914. It was a uh, gin, uh, dry vermouth and Dubonnet cocktail. Nothing to write home about. Uh, the second one in print was a low alcohol cocktail in the Savoy book, which was simply sherry and uh, dry vermouth enhanced with bitters and Luxardo uh, maraschino liqueur. Interesting on a uh, hot day, but uh, not exactly uh, an interesting cocktail as far as that goes. There was also a Cuban coronation, which was based on this version, which uh, mix and match probably all those ingredients plus these. And uh, I found it better to just add rum in the uh, Calvados slot in this cocktail here. And this cocktail is deceptively complex. It uses uh, two ounces of Calvados, great in the fall but any time of year it works as well pre-dinner. This is dry vermouth half an ounce. The same sweet vermouth and the wild card ingredient to add the complexity and the what is that factor that most great drinks have is apricot liqueur. Uh, some ice cubes and a good stir for integration and chilling. Some people over dilute, it's not, not necessary. About 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds on large cubes. You could uh, slide in some smaller cubes and do it for less time if you're hosting a party. But this should do it. Good stir, and my napkin. The important lemon twist. Make sure to snap the peel just dumping it in there is not enough. You want to release the oils. You can garnish it with the peel or not. We do for service here at the Wall of Historia. Thank you very much.